who don't know me, I'm um, Michael's little sister. And um, a little bit of background on all of this. Um, my brother left a envelope um, to me before he died. And I wasn't supposed to open it unless he died. And naturally, I just kind of threw it on top of a bookshelf and forgot about it because I thought, well, he's done this six other times and this was his shortest deployment and his final deployment. Why would this be any different? So um, it was kind of nice though to have because um, it was sort of like he said goodbye. And um, I'd just like to read a paragraph out of the packet that he left. And uh, for those of you who are at the showing, it's the same. All right, so with Memorial Day upon us, I think it's important to remember that Michael just wasn't a soldier, that he was you know, a person, a person that many of us loved and missed. And um, this is kind of his own way of speaking. Sorry. Speaking when he, you know, he's not here, but he still speaks. All right. <clears throat> so obviously you are opening this for bad reasons, but there are worse things in life. Those who refuse, refuse to stand up for anything. I would rather live and die a thousand battles and carry the burden of the violence that is required to keep the evils of the world from spilling over, then take life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for granted. Someone needs to stand up to the task, and I have always felt that war came very natural to me, as weird as that sounds. Invading Iraq in 2003 showed me where most men turn or become weary, I knew it needed to be done. The answer to one's capabilities of this task can only be discovered in the direct action it is correlated with. No amount of training or posturing can assist beyond the smallest amount. There is not practice or hidden trait for this. You either have it or you don't, but you also don't get to choose it either. It's a blessing and a curse, one that I had 13 years to embrace the experiences that come along with the job. But another thing you should know the military is not all that I am. It does not define me. It is only the means to serve. So that's just a little blurb from great pride that we recognize Michael Cathcart as a true American hero that has touched the hearts of his fellow soldiers and has been an inspiration of perseverance, loyalty, and courage to all. Now therefore, I, Christopher Shannon, the mayor of Bay City, on behalf of all of the citizens in Bay City, extend our sincere sympathies on Michael's passing and we proclaim this as a day of remembrance in Bay City. Thank you. <laughs> 